In the future, all of us will face serious disagreements with others, both at home and at work. Somehow we will need to resolve these disputes in a way that preserves our relationships with family, friends and co-workers. Of course, nobody likes disputes and conflicts. All things equal, we would be better off if we could just get along with everyone around us. But this is unfortunately not an option. Conflict is a normal part of any healthy relationship. No two people will agree on everything all the time. Given that disputes and conflicts are inevitable, what can we do to resolve them in an effective way? First of all, if conflicts are mismanaged, then the relationship will be harmed. A mismanaged conflict will seriously hurt your relationship with the other person. On the other hand, a dispute that is resolved in a respectful and positive manner can actually provide an opportunity to make the relationship stronger. So it is definitely worth spending some time learning about how to resolve uh, disputes and conflicts in a healthy way. So what is a conflict? A conflict is more than a simple disagreement. A conflict is not something that we can agree to disagree about because an an ignored conflict will worsen over time. A conflict is a situation in in which one or both of the parties feel a threat, whether that threat is real or not. So at least one party perceives a real threat to their well-being, physical or mental. And since the conflict implies a perceived threat, it will not go away if simply ignored. Instead, it is likely to get worse and worse if it's not resolved successfully. Another thing about conflict is that we respond to them based on our perception of the situation, not based on some objective set of facts. And of course, our perception of any situation is influenced by our backgrounds, by our life experiences and our culture, values, beliefs and norms. And because a dispute makes us feel threatened, they will trigger strong emotions. So to make things harder, we need to manage disputes in times of great stress and emotions. But when we are in fact able to resolve the conflict, it will bring us closer. It will build trust between the two parties. So again, how should we respond to conflicts? Since disputes and conflicts makes us feel threatened and therefore trigger strong emotions and stress, it might seem like the best approach is to avoid them at all costs. We might just want to ignore it and hope it will go away, but they will not go away. In fact, if you are afraid of conflicts, then they can become worse. Because if you enter into a conflict already feeling threatened, it will be very difficult to deal with that problem in a healthy way. Instead, you are likely to either blow up in anger or shut down in avoidance. What we need to practice instead is being calm and respectful. We need to empathize empathize with the other party's viewpoint and be ready to seek a compromise. We should avoid showing anger, resentment, or try to punish the other party. We need to have an attitude that facing the conflict head on is the best approach for both parties. Okay, so assuming that we have managed to control our feelings, which by the way requires having some emotional awareness, then we need to communicate with the other party effectively. This means being really good at listening to the other party. You need to practice your active listening skills. We need to really hear what the other party's concerns are. So don't forget to pay attention to their nonverbal cues. By paying close attention to the other uh, person's body language, facial expressions, posture, gestures, and tone of voice, you can better understand what the person is really saying. Of course, we also need to be aware of our own feelings and needs, what our interests are, and then be able to communicate these clearly. Remember again that body language is always important in any communication situation, but especially in times of conflict you must make sure that your body language is sending the same signals as your words. 
Once you're communicating, both listening to the other party's words and body language, and clearly communicating your own needs, then you're ready to actually find a solution to the dispute. You're ready to resolve the conflict.